You're wondering what these numbers stand for and why am I talking about these on this TED stage? And you are fair to think all of these things because numbers by themselves mean nothing. To be able to make some sense out of those numbers, we need to find and show the meaning behind those numbers. So what if I went ahead and added that these numbers I just quoted represent the milestone ages of my adult life, the 15 years of my journey, my story of loss, redemption and triumph. So here's presenting to you for the first time ever on a public platform, my life's story in the form of a data story. The year was 2007, when a 24-year-old Sejal found herself amidst the bustling trading floor at the Morgan Stanley head office in New York. Sitting in that financial capital of the world, I believed I had a world full of opportunities in front of me. I thought from there on my life would move in only one direction, up, up and up, but little did I know. But little did I know that life never moves in one direction. Little did I know that my life was going to be nothing short of a bumpy roller coaster ride. Personal setbacks have always taken a major toll on my life as a whole. In mere six months from that day at the New York head office, I lost my twin brother. A young boy who was alive one minute was no more in the next. I was no longer the bubbly daughter of the house. I was now the son of the house. And the biggest responsibility on my shoulders was the happiness of my parents who had just lost their only son at the cusp of youth. And as if this wasn't enough, three and a half years since that day, I lost my father to a sudden cardiac arrest. The two men of my family were no more. The pillars of my house had crumbled, leaving behind just my mother and I. I was no longer the bubbly daughter of the house. I was now the man of the house. I had to take on responsibilities beyond my capability and go through experiences I had never imagined, but never give up. But never give up is what I was taught and I never gave up. My career seemed to be the only thing in my control. And I put all my energy in that. Life kept sucking me into the hole and I kept fighting back up. Life kept sucking me into the hole and I kept fighting back up. And I did receive green shoots in the form of professional success. My very progressive parents raised me to be an independent, thinking young woman. I was not raised to give up on my dreams just because the responsibilities that befell upon me. So one fine day, I chose to give up the comfort of my job, to start a business of my own, to pursue my own dreams and own passions. As if the chaos of my personal life wasn't enough, I added this additional struggle of building a business from scratch. I kept overcoming hurdle after hurdle, hurdle after hurdle, obstacle after obstacle to achieve my goals, my dreams. And my, bus, and my first big success came in the form of the publication of my book, The Power of Data Storytelling. Not only was I a relatively young girl to have a published book, I was and still am the only Indian published author in the world with a book on this topic. I am the champion, or so I thought. But soon enough, the entire world was sweeped by COVID. 
life as we knew came to a grinding halt businesses came to a grinding halt i thought my business will shut before it had really taken off with god's grace collectively as a human race we came out of covid life came back to normal businesses came back to normal in fact my business scaled new highs and new peaks all of which was also recognized through the coveted 40 under 40 title but once again as fate may have it just before the award night my mother fell critically ill i lost her almost lost her more than once in a span of a few days for the ones who haven't got it my mother is my only surviving immediate family member thankfully she is all hail and hearty today watching her daughter achieve yet another milestone success of her life which is talking in front of you at this ted stage this is the story of my life presented to you in the form of a data story with this do you feel like you know me a little better do you feel that you can relate with my story somewhere am i leaving you inspired that is the power of data storytelling number 1 stories help us understand they make the understanding crystal clear if i had simply displayed this visual in front of you even without speaking a word you would get a sense of the roller coaster ride that i have been living in the past 15 years even without having said a word you will get a gist of how personal life setbacks keep taking a toll on my professional success this is the power of data storytelling it makes understanding crystal clear this is the first time ever i have made a data story of my life and although i have lived this life myself i feel it in every bone and every cell of my body this one simple chart helped me uncover deeper insights which my eyes couldn't see this one chart helped me realize that finally it seems like the impact of the personal life setbacks is going on reducing while the magnitude of success only keeps increasing this is the power of data storytelling it helps us see even that which is unseen and thanks to this one big discovery i'm breathing a sigh of relief thanks to this big discovery i am now very confident to look ahead in the future for the first time ever i am not waiting for something bad to happen i am confidently looking ahead into the future making plans ahead because now i am realizing that maybe maybe my time has come where i will finally get that upward sloping line which the naive 24 year old once expected finally personal life will stop taking a toll on my life as a whole this is the power of data storytelling stories explain stories connect stories inspire all types of data personal or professional structured or unstructured quantitative or qualitative all types of data can be made a lot more meaningful and impactful when weaved into this thread of storytelling so let me present to you my three steps of converting any data into an impactful data story step number 1 build your story stories are not built on with any tool or technology stories are built with our cognition right here in our heads when you have a set of numbers first uncover the layers find the meaning behind those numbers and then build a story that will show that message to your audience what is the data about how did it get here why did it happen where does it go from here that's all that we need to understand 
to find and build the story from any kind of data that we have. Once you have built the story, it is time to start crafting the story. Select the appropriate visual type to help you craft that story. A line chart, a bar chart, infographic, a sea of visuals available out there. But make sure you select the most appropriate visual that, ju that does justice to the narrative you want to portray because weaving a narrative is the most important piece when it comes to creating those data stories. Make your hero stand out. Give a beginning, give a ending, connect the dots, let the audience get the message that you want them to take back. That is how we convert any kind of raw data into impactful stories. Charts like these abound in the corporate world. If you look at a chart like this, you might wonder what's wrong with this chart. In my dictionary though, this chart is a data dump. Why? Because how do I read this chart? Should I look at the tallest bar or the shortest bar or do my own permutations and combinations? If the audience has to analyze the chart themselves, the chart is a data dump, not a data story. When we first find the meaning behind the numbers, craft the story and weave the narrative on the chart, this is the kind of result we get. Even with a humble bar chart, now here's what we have is a data story because on this chart now, the hero is clear, the message is clear, the insights are available to an audience on a platter. Simple analysis that we are doing every day is actually just reporting of numbers. What we are doing in the name of data analysis today is largely just reporting of numbers in different formats. Information pieces like these are not data analysis, they are not data stories. When we find the meaning behind the numbers, when we use our analytical skills, our data intuition to do the analysis, find the deeper meaning behind the numbers, is when we are able to provide messages like this. And even if you have never seen a bubble chart in your life before, one glance at this visual and the story will be crystal clear to you. There are some pockets at the top right and bottom left. That's it. The message is served to your audience on the platter. This is the power of data storytelling and we can use the power of data storytelling for any type of data, any type of visuals. It doesn't matter. All it matters is the ability to build the story and communicate it most effectively. You want to achieve a big breakthrough in today's world? Data is your way to go. The big data decade gave us ways and means to collect and store data, but we are still not doing a good enough job of putting that data to good use. Most of the data being generated at the ground level doesn't reach the decision makers at all. The data that does reach decision makers reaches in formats which are hard to understand, interpret, let alone make decisions from it. If every employee at every level of an organization starts thinking and communicating effectively with data, we are simply improving our organization's competitive edge. To get the big breakthrough in your business decisions, to get a big breakthrough in your business growth, to get a big breakthrough in driving a data-driven culture in your organization, let's all put in an effort to change the way we all think and communicate with data. Thank you.